let's write general notations, okay? So if one notation is this one, I'm not b crazy about this, but we're going to say that this is the uh, partial derivative, and this is a repetition of what Lizzie told us, partial derivative, except she didn't do spelling, she did not have spelling mistakes as I do. Derivative <laughs> ah. of f of x, y with respect to x at a, b. So this is one notation. Okay, the other notation, of course, uh, let me write here that in this case, we hold y equals b as a fixed value as a constant that is and likewise if y of a b is the partial derivative Well, basically, I'm going to say the same thing of f of x, y with respect to y. So let me underline this expression at a, b. And in this case, we hold x equals a as a fixed value. So, <clears throat> and we write the limit definition of these two. Uh, we can write it as the following manner. And I'm not breaking any news here because the two examples, the numeric example that I gave you and the exercise that Lizzie did pretty much cover it. I just write it so you'll have it in your notes. So we have, uh, we vary x, so we have a plus h, b is fixed. And fy, the derivative of f with respect to y, would be written in a similar fashion except we vary the y so we'll have b plus h while a is fixed okay. and furthermore this is the, the limit definition of the derivative at the point stabilize the paper. Uh, let's add here the limit definition of the derivative at a point. Because what I'm going to write now next is the limit definition of the derivative function. And this is, uh, this is something that I'm doing just for the sake of completion of your notes. Um, no other reason. So here we're going to write fx of xy. This time it's, it's more ge uh, generic. Uh, we are looking at a function rather than the derivative at a point. And like we did in calculus 1, it will be of f of x plus h comma y minus f of x y divided by h and the derivative of 
f with respect to y likewise will be f of x comma y plus h minus f of x y divided by h. So if somebody will ask you uh, to give the formal definition of the derivative or the limit definition of the derivative or heaven forbid you need to calculate it um, then you know what to do. The notation is lazy so succinctly put and in the in a good way. We I don't like much this notation and we'll move on to the operator del. Okay, one notation is like so in short. But the more common notation is del f del x uh, as an operator or del del x of f of x y or if if z equal f of x y right then we can write in short del z del x and as Lizzie said there are other notation uh, likewise the derivative with respect to y del f del y or del del y of f of x y or simply del z del y where the z came from the uh, surface z equal f of x y okay so this is uh, the surface uh, the an exp a function for the surface uh, uh, of uh, that made of two variables two independent variables so why is the notation del as as uh, instead of d well normally uh, D will be reserved either for uh, a single variable derivative or a complete differential. Uh, later on we'll talk about complete differential or the differential. Then we'll use the, the D operator. And the DEL operation, we'll use it pretty much exclusively when we're talking about partial derivative. And, and it, it's common in calculus 3 and for this point on I'll exclusively, I'll use the DEL operator exclusively. And as well as next semester or this semester, if you take it in DFQ, you'll see that a lot. Okay?